kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 4 of my video series on camera 2 API using Android studio Alright guys so now I will try to complete the code and if if possible this will be the last part of my video series but if I could not complete it within 10 or 15 minutes then I will create another uh, video part and uh, that will be the last part or I mean the part 5 of this video series so guys up till now uh, we have done a, a lot of things and also I forgot to start uh, write code for here inside our own resume method and here we can say start background thread because we need to start the thread so for this uh, we can create this method in here and also uh, let's click on let's uh, write the method for our start background thread and here we can first of all say can we can say m background uh, thread and it will be equal to new handler thread and it will be uh, camera background and then we can say m m background thread dot close or we can say sorry m background thread dot start and then we can uh, initialize our m background handler so we can say m background handler equal to new handler and inside this we can pass m background thread dot get looper all right and after this uh, okay so now we can uh, we have started the thread and now we'll, we will start the code for the take uh, for the take image but first of all uh, let's try to run the app and let's see if how it goes and if it works or not but before that yes we need to uh, use the own permission uh, method let me see where is the method yes own request permission wizard so here we need to override the own request permission wizard then uh, okay so we need to remove this super line and here we can say and we can check if request code equal to 101 and also here we can check if uh, grant results of index mm -hmm. 0 is equal to package manager dot permission denied then we can print a message sorry camera permission is necessary and we can print the toast message and we can click on finish or I think we should not finish it alright so now let's run the app and let's see so for that I have connected my phone with the sightseeing app so here we will run the sightseeing app and also let me uh, open the sightseeing app in my phone yes uh, our phone is now connected and I will click on run the app and we will run the app to check if it is working correctly or not but I think that it should work correctly
it is uh, taking some time as I am and yes now it is getting installed and we will see if it works or not okay so it is asking me for the user permission I click on allow and I also allow the media file and there you can see that the camera is uh, working very well here I have these two uh, laptops with me and yes it is working very well all right so I will disconnect now my phone and now we will try to create the take picture method and for this uh, we can first of all check okay so here we can let me just uh, remove it and yes okay so inside this me uh, this method we can check if uh, the camera device equal to null if we have not initialized the camera device then we can simply need to return then we can here can get camera manager manager equal to camera manager and here we can say get system service then we can say context dot camera service and then we can say camera characteristics characteristics equal to manager dot get camera characteristics and there we can fetch the camera id by uh, by having camera device dot get id all right and there we have we need to handle the exception and after the we get the characteristics we now need uh, a string array for the uh, for the jpeg sizes so for that we can simply say string array or i mean the size array and there we can name it as jpeg sizes and we can say it to be equal to null and there we can simply say jpeg sizes equal to characteristics dot get and inside this we can simply say camera characteristics dot scalar stream configuration map then we can say get output sizes get output sizes and it will be image format dot jpeg and then what we can do is we can have the some default values uh, for our width and height of the image so for that we can say in width equal to 640 and in height it, it will be equal to let's say 480 okay then we can check if jpeg uh, if jpeg sizes is not equal to null and jpeg sizes dot length is greater than zero and then we can simply say width equal to jpeg sizes of index zero dot get width and for the height similarly we can say equal to jpeg sizes of index zero dot get height all right so we have got these two heights and then we can now need an image reader then we can say image reader reader equal to image reader dot new instance and here we will first of all uh, pass width then the height and then we can say image format dot jpeg and we can pass one for the maximum images 
then we can have a list of type surface and we can say output surfaces equal to new array list of type 2 and it will be the initial uh, capacity and then we can say we can add it so for that we can say output surfaces uh, output surface dot add and here we can pass reader dot get surface and then we can say output surfaces dot add then we can say new surface and here we can pass the texture view dot get surface texture and then we can say final uh, capture request dot builder and we can name it as capture builder and it will be equal to camera device dot create capture request and for the template we can already we can say camera device dot template preview Okay, so instead of this uh, preview, we can say template still capture. Alright, then we can say capture with builder dot add target and the add target it we will we can have with reader dot get surface then we can say capture builder dot set and here we can say capture request dot control mode and the value will be camera metadata dot control mode auto then now we need to set the orientation and uh, rotation so for that first of all we can uh, create an integer of type integer rotation and it will be equal to get window manager and we can say get default display dot get rotation and then we can say capture builder dot set and here we can pass capture request dot jpeg orientation and we can pass orientation dot get and there we can pass the rotation all right and finally we can store it so in order to store the image we can simply say long ts long and we can say we first of all need to get the timestamp for the image to be saved so for that we can say system dot current time in millis and we can divide it by thousand and finally we can say string ts equal to ts long dot to string okay so we have got the timestamp that will be unique so here we can say file equal to new file sorry and here we can pass our environment dot get external storage directory and plus we can say then we can say plus ts and plus dot jpg okay so after this we now need to set the image to our file 
so for that we can say okay all right guys so i think that is uh, enough for uh, today so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye